Hello everyone, my name is Liraz from Makeup by Liraz. Today we're going to show you how to find the perfect foundation to match your skin tone. So we're here with our model Alex, thank you for joining us today. No problem. Um, and we're going to match her skin tone to the perfect foundation. Before we're looking for a foundation, before we're even applying anything on our skin, we want to look for two things. We want to look for our skin tone and we want to look for our undertone. So there's actually two colors we're going to be looking at. She's very yellow and you can see it right under, um, just around her upper chest area and her neck, but she has a bit of a pink undertone. So before choosing foundation, it's really important we know what is our undertone. That way she's not going to look too pinkish or too yellowish. So every time before we start applying any makeup on our skin, we want to make sure we prepare our skin. So that means cleansing, toning, hydrating, and priming. I'm going to use a cleanser that will remove any excess oil and any dirt that you still have on our skin. I'm going to be applying a serum all over our face and just gently massage it into her skin. All serums are extremely hydrating. We're pushing water into the skin and helping the foundation look smoother. After applying a serum, I'm going into the moisturizer. And again, the moisturizer will go all around the face. It's our base before we apply makeup. It's so important to use the proper skincare. After using a moisturizer, we always want to go into the eye cream, applying a little bit under the eye area and on the brow bone. The area under our eyes is the thinnest area on our face. There's not a lot of fat tissue, so we have to be extremely careful and very gentle with a touch. So now that her skin is nice and prepped, we're going to go into finding the perfect foundation for her. So as I mentioned before, we're looking at two things. We're looking at her skin tone and we're looking at her undertone. So we already identified a yellow skin tone and also a yellow undertone. So when choosing the right foundation, we want to go into a warm shade of foundation with a bit of a hint of a cool uh, pink undertone just to match and even her out. But again, when we're looking at her face, we want to make sure we match everything to that area. We don't want to match it to the neck. We don't want to match it to below the jawline. We want to match it to this area because this has to be even. So she's more yellowy here. So I'm going to use a foundation that has a little bit more of a warmer tone, but still has a bit of a pink undertone just to match and even out her skin. I'm always applying two shades of foundation. A lighter foundation in the inner circle of the face and a darker foundation on the other circle of the face. So just think about a circle that goes from the eyebrows all the way under the lip, just a full circle. This is where you want to apply the lighter shade and the darker shade goes on top. Those are like the higher uh, spots on the face and this is where the sun hit the most. So naturally, those are a little bit darker. So if we apply the same foundation all over the face, it's gonna look a little bit lighter and uh, on the corners. So we wanna avoid that by applying a darker shade of foundation. So I'm gonna start just applying on the center of the face. I always start with a brush and then I go into the beauty blender or you can also use your fingers. Something magical happens once you blend your foundation with your hands with your body temperature. My favorite foundation these days is the Luminous Silk by Armani and I find that any foundation that I use, as long as I mix just a drop of the Luminous Skin into it, it turns it into such a buttery texture and it sits amazing on the skin. When we use foundation, we want to use as much as we can with the foundation in terms of coverage. Sometimes we don't need to go with concealer. So if we can avoid using another layer of makeup, why not? So now we're going to apply the darker shade just on top. Always blend it into the hairline and under the jawline. We don't want to take it too further down. We want to keep it nice and clean. 
And as long as there's a perfect match between her skin to her upper chest area, we know we did a good job. Now I'm gonna go into the Beauty Blender and just set the foundation. And the Beauty Blender also collect all the excess and all the extra foundation that sits on her skin. And her skin looks beautiful, it looks breathable. The skin is breathing, it doesn't look like there's too much product on it, it looks flawless. So now I'm going into concealer. I'm using a liquid-based concealer by NARS, one of my favorites. Uh, I'm just gonna apply it a little bit under the eye. It has a peach undertone. Peach is a perfect color to brighten the skin, to bring life into the skin. So I'm just gonna use a little bit under her eyes, around the nose. So a little goes a long way. Her skin looks nice and flawless. Our next step will be to set everything. Now from here we have a few options. Do we want to keep it nice and luminous and a little bit more dewy or do we, we want to mattify her skin? So that's up to you. If we want to keep it a little bit more dewy, then we're going to go with a powder just on the areas where we don't want to show any sheen to it. Uh, but if we're going for a complete matte finish, we're going to apply powder almost all over the skin. So I'm going to be using two types of loose powder on Alex. The first one is a little bit more peachy and again, it will bring light to that area and I'm just going to pat it under the eye. And the second powder is a loose powder, translucent powder from Laura Mercier and I'm going to apply it on the areas when I, where I want to highlight a little bit. This is what we call baking, where we let the powder sit for a few minutes. I personally can bake for 5 seconds or 20 minutes. It all depends on the look that I'm going for. The more the finition we want to see on the skin, the longer we let the powder to sit on it. We're going for pretty natural finish with Alex, so I'm gonna blend the powder into her skin right away. We always wanna apply powder on our eyelids. It tends to get oilier faster. Or we can use an eye primer. And there you go. And Alex has perfect foundation, beautiful, flawless skin. It's nice, it's radiant, it's a little bit glowy and it's breathable.